Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris from My Handyman. I want to teach you how to do all those small jobs around your home that I know you can do without calling for help. What we're going to do now is we're going to, we've, we've got paint in our paint pan. What do we do with it now since we're done? Or what do we do if we want to take a break? Let's do that one first. Let's take a break. We painted the walls, we got the first coat on, we got to take a small break. We got, let's say we're going to go for lunch. All right. So what we have is we've got here, we've got a paint pan filled with paint. We have a paintbrush that's got paint on it. We've got a roller that has paint on it. And you can tell the way that the rollers are set up, it's got a little notch here that you can put it right on the edge of the uh, right on the edge of the paint pan so it doesn't go back down into the paint. Now you want to use this paint for the second coat. You want to possibly use this roller for the second coat. You certainly can if the room is small enough. If the room is big or you're doing multiple rooms, second coat, get another roller. They're relatively inexpensive. It'll look fresher. It'll look much nicer. So let's say, for instance, we're going to lunch and you want to put this stuff someplace so it doesn't create a film over it or a skin or dry on it. What you can do is you can, from your, from your, um, um, from your local store, you're going to have some sort of bags like this. You're going to have some sort of bags like this. So what you can do is, is take the bag make sure it's open okay put the brush in the bag see the handle still here and roll it up right. and what this is going to do it's a cheap and easy way of keeping this fresh this will actually stay pliable like this for a day or so let's not push that though okay now what you want to do with the with the pan as you can see the pan has still got paint in it you're going to take the same kind of bag that you've got here. You're going to, let's say it's a um, Home Depot bag or a Menards bag or a Lowe's bag. And take it and just put it right over top of it. Right over top of the paint. And for the most part, it covers it very nicely. And this is going to keep it covered until you get back. If you need a second bag, that's great. If you don't have bags, use cellophane. You can go just like this, and that'll keep it nice and fresh. Now, the other way of doing it is, let's say, for instance, you wanted to put the roller separate from the pan. Okay. You still have that bag. Okay. Take the roller, slip it right into the bag, right down to the bottom, and just like the paintbrush, roll it up. There you go. It's going to stay fresh. Eh, don't say for a day or so, but at least it'll stay fresh until you get back from lunch. Once you get back from lunch, you take the bag off. You take the bag off of the pan, pull it inside out, and I'll show you that. Okay, so let's say for instance, you're coming, you got the bag, right? I'm opening the bag like this, I'm slipping my hand in the bottom, and I am folding it inside out as I'm pulling it up. This way, all that paint that's on the other side of the bag isn't going to get on my hands. I get a few pieces here and there, but your paint is fresh and everything is good. Now, let's do some cleanup. We're going to take this paint and put it back. We're going to take this paint here and we're going to put it back into the uh, paint can. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to lift that up just a little bit. And take the paint off, the paint top off of the can. And this is how you do that. All right, so you got your paintbrush, your paintbrush that's covered. Let's uncover that and put that off to the side. We are going to take our paint can, pull that over here, very carefully, you're going to pour that paint back into the can. You're going to take whatever's on the inside of it, just like this, you're going to scoop it out with the paintbrush. Just get up as much as you can. Put it back into the can because that's you don't want to waste the paint. Okay, so far so good. Now here's something that's interesting. Let's say for instance you're done for the day and you're emptying this paint pan just like we're doing now. And tomorrow you'll put your second coat on or tomorrow you'll use the same color in another room. Well don't throw the pan away. Don't throw the liner away. You can use the liner again because it's the same color. If it's a different color, get a different liner. If it's the same color, try and use the liner again. If it doesn't work, the liners are cheap. Just go ahead and replace it. They come in packages of about three and it's not that it's not rocket science it really isn't but it might save you a few bucks if you did it that way all right all right so now we've got our paint back in our in our in our can now we're going to go and we have to put our brush in our other handy pail we're going to recap the paint. I'm going to put a fresh bag on that, just like this. And put that right there. We'll hammer that down in a few minutes because I might have to put some more paint back in there. And for now, that's how you determine how much, uh, how to put the, the paint back into the pan, what to do with the liners, what to do with your paint rollers, and you're basically waiting for your second coat at this point, okay? Um, in the next video, we're going to show you how to clean out the brush, clean out the roller. This is for you. All of this is for you. I'm trying to teach you how to do this stuff because quite honestly, if you're looking at this kind of stuff, someone hasn't showed you how to do it. I'm trying to show you the best and easiest and the fastest way to do it. If I can figure out some tricks to show you along the way, I'll show them to you. But right now, this is what we got and wait for the next video. Oh, 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 before you leave, if you would please, please subscribe. My humblest thank yous.